I'm here at AUSA 2016 talking to Jeff Wood, Director, Business Development, Northrop Grumman. We're standing beside Northrop Grumman's Hellhound light reconnaissance vehicle. For the show, Northrop Grumman has fitted the Hellhound vehicle with a mock-up of a laser weapon. Jeff, could you tell us a little bit about the, the laser itself and the thought processes behind fitting it to Hellhound? Sure. So last year we unveiled the Hellhound, which was a very agile, light, nimble uh, vehicle um, uh, aimed at uh, uh, housing six uh, scouts inside a roll cage and we built out from there. Uh, and it, it's a very flexible, modular vehicle, uh, but one of the capability gaps that the uh, U.S. forces have is a, a counter uh, UAS. Um, it's, a, it's a problem today, and it's going to be a problem for uh, into the future. So because the Hellhound has uh, a great energy system built into it, we can produce 120 kilowatts of uh, power for onboard and offboard uh, applications, uh, we decided to to try to tackle that challenge. So what we have on at the show this year is a, a mock-up of a 30 kilowatt laser weapon system. So Northrop Grumman's been a leader in laser, laser weapon uh, technology uh, for years, and we've taken that knowledge and uh, we want to bring that to ground vehicles. So um, the Hellhound being a very capable modular vehicle uh, we found that the system works, uh, uh, we think will work very well. We have a proposal in with the United States Army uh, to, to deliver a, uh, um, a, a working prototype for, as a demonstrator vehicle, and uh, we're hopeful we're going to move that forward. Now, when you say a 30 kilowatt laser, um, to, to the man in the street, that probably doesn't mean very much. So, in the terms of what it can disable, what does a 30 kilowatt laser deliver? The laser weapon system that we're proposing has a lot of utility. Um, it's certainly going to be effective against the smaller unmanned aerial systems. Um, so uh, to the average person, you, you see a, a quadcopter from a, a vendor at many of the electronic stores that you can buy and fly yourself. That's, uh, that's in the class, and then some bigger than that. Um, it's a new area for uh, the military, and we're trying to help them through uh, the challenges that uh, are, are gonna, they're going to face in that. But we do think it's a technology that's going to be on the battlefield sooner rather than later. And, and looking to the future, are we likely to see vehicles of Hellhound's size fitted with laser weapons that are capable of disabling more sizable objects? So the technology today is better than it was uh, a short time ago. The technology uh, in the near future will be better than it is today. So uh, the order of magnitude of that, I think, is uh, still up for question. But certainly we could see uh, the sizable laser weapon systems that we're putting on much larger platforms today uh, um, able to fit on a small vehicle like the Hellhound. Excellent. Thank you very much.